Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You stop. <laughs> We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share it. Share it, share it, share it. <laughs> ah! No, no, Sam. Sorry, Wash. Don't worry, it's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, well, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow, just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey, that looks like Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves Afghan beauty contests. Has an excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. <laughs> I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later. Oh no, my costume. I absolutely have to put my costume back on. Ah, come on, always works on the sixth try. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Oh. The Rain Stones! I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room. Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready. Quick, Wash! They're here! Be extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. We're home! Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm gonna go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna last long at this. Right. Oh, 
Okay, time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's a lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> Going to get him, Alvy. Go on faster. <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad. I've got to get home at once. Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am. Came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. of the year. <laughs> Look, all you had to do was unplug it. So why didn't you tell us sooner? Let's just say it's going to allow me to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please! Let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. Bah! My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down! And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, uh, Sir Fox ha Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P. You. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me and tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on! Taste me! Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh, but then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing, the idea was my master's. The fox of a red Quick, behind the garbage can! <laughs> an unusual cat dance. Honey, that cat has never ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. But how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, uh, Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter, I am so proud of you. There he 
Yes. yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hotel Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap, wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. How we doing, girls? Still eight minutes and 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long. Huh? You, lots of action. It's suspense. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. What did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV on to ourselves! <laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Mm. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. You're the one who swallowed the ring! As I mentioned, the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Livingstones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. The cake is ready! Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. 
It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're gonna see in us? Hmm? <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Oh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down, up, down! Come on, spit! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find <laughs> another way. So, Sam, is it coming or what? Did you get the ring? Did you? Look, my favorite toy. It's amazing. I was sure it was lost forever. <gasps> Wait, did... expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. You got the ring. Uh, no. On the other hand, Susie knows exactly where the remote control is. Yippee! I'm going to be able to watch myself now. I still don't think you get it. If we don't find that ring right this second, we're all goners. Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? <laughs> I hate you all. That, x-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington, but it's totally pitch black in here. Good luck, little one. Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? It's not gonna be easy. You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach. Uh, you will what? Awesome. Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful. Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring! We're here, Susie, quick, hurry up! Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? <laughs> uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. <laughs> you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh, you know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But there's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back! My precious uh, ring! Do you uh, understand? Uh, oh, uh, oh, very well then. Uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions manual. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We have what? to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Uh. Ugh, and now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing! It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before, and it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true, but you really do eat a lot. You're right, and it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah. Right, so uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah. Ah, there you are, my 
little Susie. Perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Huh? You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma! <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button! And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm, what do you mean, fat? Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So, oh. did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh, <laughs> wow! Your ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. Mm. Uh. Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is a device specially designed to gaze at the stars. Mm -hmm. There are stars on the box. Loads of them. Look. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Shoot, an acorn with zero flavor. <laughs> you can't eat it, Jelly Brain. It's something humans use for parties. <laughs> Oh, cool it, girls. The party isn't here. It's at Mr. Livingstone's mom's house. It's for her birthday. Our masters forgot to take the box when they left. What? It's his mom's birthday? Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to the forest, are you? You're crazy! Today is also my mom's birthday. I completely forgot. Don't you realize? No, not the 
those two imbeciles again. I absolutely have to go see her. Hey? She'll be so disappointed. I only want to give her a big hug. Simple, yeah? Who's he talking about? Washington, I am sorry. I refuse to let you go alone. I'm your best. You want to come with me? You know, my mom makes the best acorn pie in the forest. Really? Uh, okay, I'll come with you. Just a quick trip. Hmm. We'd be better off going home and sleeping. No way! I have a hunch Wash has a date with a girl, and I want to be sure. Hmm? Wash, someone's following us! Nah, uh what are you talking about? My snout is tingling, and when my snout tingles... Your snout tingles all the time. Whenever you're hungry, whenever you're thirsty, whenever it's bedtime, whenever Dude, you're... behind the bush! It's Mitch! I know it is! Mitch is a bear, Sam. <laughs> He's far too big to hide behind a bush. It's obvious there's... <laughs> what are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, 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 we came looking for uh, catnip for Victoria. Did we? Pretend to look for catnip. They mustn't find out why we're here. Otherwise, we're done for. A hunting dog that hunts catnip? Now I've seen it all. You were right. Those jokers are hiding something. It's lucky we met you. We can help you, sir. Huh? The quicker we find catnip, huh? the quicker we get home. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you, girls. <laughs> really cool of you. Can you just turn around for a minute? <laughs> uh, call of nature. <laughs> Come on, quick! My parents' lair is this way! Those two clinging gatecrashers obviously must not catch up with us! Hey, don't we know each other? Hmm? Of course! I remember you now! I'd recognize that muzzle anywhere. I've already seen you hanging around here! What are you doing here? You know him? Who? Him? Uh, never seen him before! We were just looking for somewhere to go wee-wee. We don't know anyone around here. Is that you, Wash? <laughs> <laughs> but of course, I'd recognize that muzzle a mile away. Back to the forest to be with us. <laughs> you? You must have confused us with someone else. <laughs> Sorry. How uncanny. He just called you Wash. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, what does that prove? Wash is a very common name. I see. You're just giving us the brush off, are you? Just because you're with your little town girlfriends? Do your parents know you're behaving like a town boy? If you've never been to the forest before, isn't it weird how all the animals seem to know perfectly well who you are? No, they're just joking. It's the forest air. Everybody knows. <laughs> it makes people want to fool around. Too right, like me when I was in the forest. <laughs> I get it. Well, I got a special little joke for you. Forest style. You're gonna love it. See you later! What did you really come here to do, Sam? Yeah, well... Yeah. Wait! Action! Wild animals! There are wild animals around here. So what? It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but these guys are different. They're like really wild, ferocious. Mm -hmm. I can smell them. My nose never lets me down. Great, we gotta hide. What about the wild animals? We are the wild animals. Come on, we're gonna give Nugget and Fluffy the heebie-jeebies so that they clear out of here and we can go say happy birthday to my mom in peace. Fluffy, mm. don't just stand there. Ah! Ah! Where are your manners, young man? Is that how you welcome town folk round these parts? Mm -hmm. I'll teach you manners. Little washeroo. Aw, washeroo, as in Washington. A little bird told me you and Sam had been playing the wise guys now that you live in town. And that big fat wild boar is called Sam. Mm -hmm. Just like Sam Livingstone. No, Dad, his name's Max, not Sam. Max or Sam, they're both moronic names. Why are these domestic pets here? Oh, honey, it's plain to see. It's their girlfriends. Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> 
Give this a go. It's one of your dad's specialities. What is it? Pigtail potatoes with real pigtails. Pretty good, huh? So, little washeroo. Still happy with life in town? Well... There's nothing like the forest, son. You'd never catch me playing flunky to a human. There's honor at stake. And there's no way I'd wear one of your fancy disguises. Marvelous news! But let's not forget it's Mom's birthday. Come on, how about we go fetch the cake? I bet my nine lives that those two jokers, the fox and the boar, are none other than Wash and Sam Livingstone. What are you saying? Washington is so much more suave and sophisticated than a vulgar fox. And Sam might look dumb, but he's still a cat, not a wild boar. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna bet? Hey! What's happened to Mom's acorn pie? You disappoint me, son. Have you forgotten? For birthday, we always serve my famous dung beetle mousse with dandelion clocks. Happy birthday, Mom. What happened to those two Lottie da house cats? Yeah, no, what town folk are like, honey. Always in a hurry. I blame their parents. Never leave before the birthday moose. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same. Uh, of course not, Dad. Glad to hear it. What happened to Nugget and Fluffy? This is the spot we last saw them. If my hunch is right, their disguises must be hidden nearby. <sighs> but it is an acorn pie. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. Gotta go. We'd love to stay longer, but... <laughs> you came to my birthday. You've already given me the best gift possible. My little washeroo. You see? Proof you got it wrong. Wash had a date with a girl. That costume story is ridiculous. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Too late, Wash. We're done for. Uh, that is the place we left our costumes, right? Not such a wise guy now, huh? <laughs> you went to the Livingstone's house? Uh-huh, and we had a ball. What a fiesta! <laughs> Not to mention the kibble. We're keeping these costumes. They're awesome. And to think we didn't even get any acorn pie. With the town folk us? But next time, don't pretend you don't know us. Got it? Uh-huh. We promise. And if you ever want to come see us at the Living Stones, you're always welcome. Where were you? We looked everywhere for you. Oh, wow. What a stink. What's the new perfume? Oh, what? What perfume? I can't smell anything. You want some catnip? I found tons with my famous feline sense of smell. Ta-da! But... It isn't even catnip! Come on! Anyone can make a mistake. At least it proves Wash wasn't on a date with a girl. We're back! <laughs> Everything go okay? It was horrific. The girls were out of control. Not to mention your two Joker buddies who turned up in your costumes. That was the limit. The forest is way too stressful. I'm never setting a paw back in there again. Not even for a slice of acorn pie. Don't worry. No need to go back for another year. In one week, it's Mother's Day. Are you stuck for good <laughs> ideas? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Happy birthday to all you rabbits 
your lucky day is funny day. And to celebrate it, all of our Beepop Funny stores are going to spoil you silly with games and goodies and a free beauty kit. Look, I heard him say a beauty kit, right? Huh? What's going on, girls? No, we can't see anything. They want to go to Bebop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We wanna go! We wanna go! We wanna go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! <laughs> Mm -mm. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Da, it's a bunny mobile! A self-driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state-of-the-art self-driving car? Uh, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day, and when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry, if I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011-989998819991991. Seven two five three in case of emergency. Destination: Bebop Bunny. Bunny. Yay! Bush, stop the car! No, we're gonna get caught! Oh come on, Sam! Don't worry. The windows are tinted, so there's no risk. Uh oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Emergency on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree. You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Oh, Wash, this is too awesome! Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving! But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls, I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash, hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh oh, the animal pound! Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's 
go. Forget the alligator. Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you. Ah, uh, they're not following us anymore. Well, of course not. They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, okay? <laughs> What did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. Yeah. <laughs> found! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Yeah. Automatic remote oh control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> the super duper tunnel slide has just opened. Come and get your fill up. Shall we go? It looks awesome! Do you think we've got time? Sierra said so we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. No wash! Speed up! They're right behind us! Gone. We're safe. Yeah, Wash, you can slow down. They're gone. I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like uh, stuck. <laughs> uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. <laughs> Up Eugenie and Susie without getting caught. Call the emergency number. I think now's the time. Oh, yeah, good idea. But, uh, what was the number again? Uh, after 9998819991999, is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? But the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Sandra, how can I be of assistance to you? Yay! It works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool! I ditched them! Oh! Oh no! I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, please <laughs> Did you just touch something? Charge <laughs> battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. You two genie! Susie! Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Living Stones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes, and... We knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey, how did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out. Bebop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner. <laughs> wow, that works. Awesome. Thank you, girls. <laughs> 
You see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> You'll agree? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing, Singing in, in the, the Shower, shower. The, the show that gets, gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, <laughs> let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. <laughs> Wouldn't drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? <laughs> First of all, we know how to sing. That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in Dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good dog. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Oh, what is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is cold. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey, I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it, and don't cheat. 
I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. And every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Livingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? No! That's a lion! I can't believe it, Wash! Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play! Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that! And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in! Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. <laughs> oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no, I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on. A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, your genie. And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! You genie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke. That song was pre-recorded. Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified. Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin. The jury is getting impatient. So cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary, but... What in the world is this bizarre specimen? Fly away, Eugene, uh -huh. quick! He's going to discover your disguise! Very impressive. 
This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey! Why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. Uh, uh, are you sure? It's our only chance. Susie's not a real canary. What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows. The jury president said, and... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be. Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin. Can you believe that? Huh? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, uh, human, you know? Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary, but I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Mud in your eyes or what? It looks like a vacuum cleaner. It's so obvious. So, so, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Got it! Whoa! Magnificent, my dear Alvarez! Your tattoo is totally awesome! What? A tattoo? Now that is classy! A tattoo? What's a tattoo? Oh, it's a drawing you do on your skin. You never watch tattoo TV? Yeah! It's almost time for a show! You coming, Eugenie? So, what'd you get tattooed? An eagle? A mermaid? So, where is it? Well, there, of course. Numbers? <laughs> I do not believe it. That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen. Uh, didn't you just say the tattoos were so classy? For sure. Except Alvarez's. <laughs> well, does our tattoo expert at least know that all dogs and cats must be tattooed? It's the law. <laughs> My master is just checking and making sure the neighbors are following the new regulation. Uh, 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 for sure, I knew that. Yeah, you knew that? I sure didn't. Of course we knew that, Sam! No, but uh, seriously, your tattoo is super cool. What tattoo parlor did you go to get it done? Tattoo parlor? I went to the vet to have it done, silly. Super soft. Two ply, 12 rolls. Three ply, six for, uh, there, furry comfy. Are we even out of it? Huh. Tattoo TV, the show that knows all about... Tattoos! Mr. Livingstone is doing his shopping online. It's now or never, Sam. You'll be the lookout. Tattoo, tattoo. Bingo! 
Whoa! These ones are way too awesome! I knew you didn't have to go to the vet for one. What a loser that poor old Alvarez is. And voila! You! Meow! Furry comfy. Exactly what we need. Your order has been confirmed. Congratulations. You have just won four free rolls of our Christmas special toilet paper. Available oh, in wow. your Wow, did store. you hear that, honey? Mr. Livingstone, you rule. Let's go right this second. Did it, huh? Mm hmm I sure hope that Mr. Livingstone chose the same delivery. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's delivery. Ta-da! Check it out, Sam. Who rules now, huh? 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 Now, isn't this classy? Wow! Yeah, you guys are awesome! Whoa, you guys are heavyweights! Oh, yeah, you look amazing with those. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you, Wash. Oh, yeah? More like big time vulgar, I'd say. Huh? Seriously? Is this a joke or what? <laughs> Forget it. He's just jealous of our cool tattoos. Mm -hmm. Come on, we're gonna go show off our stuff to someone else. You, Victoria. If I'm in here, it's precisely so you'll leave me alone. Hey, come on, you've slept enough already. Look. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Now all you need is some long hair going down your neck and you'll be perfect. Hmm. You really think so? <laughs> nope. Forget it, Sam. She's jealous, too. Let's see your tattoo. Ooh, a number? <laughs> Just like Alvarez? How super cool is that? <laughs> if we have numbers tattooed in our ears, it's not to look cool, you fools. It's so we can be identified. Wait a sec. You mean that that's why all dogs and cats have to tattoo silly, ugly numbers in their ears? <laughs> And now, this month's top 10 tattoos! Awesome! Wash, what are we going to do? First, we gotta think, Sam. If the Living Stones see our tattoos, they're gonna look closely at our costumes and realize who we are. So we've got to- Hey there, guys! <laughs> really is our lucky day. Oh, you'll never believe this, honey. But with the four rolls we just picked up, why, we want eight more that we can pick up right now! <laughs> We absolutely have to get rid of these tattoos! I'm sure this will do the job. John Bruce tattoos his torso. Little does he know that this rash decision is for life. Huh? But after years of despair, John Bruce discovers that certain hospital surgeons are able to remove tattoos with laser treatment. Lasers? Aren't those used in outer space films? That's cool, Sam. All they have to do is aim well so they can only disintegrate the tattoos. No, what's gonna be the hardest is finding the lasers. How the heck do we get up into outer space? Huh? Can we go to the amusement park instead? It's right nearby, and besides, they've got tons of flying lasers there. Awesome idea, Susie. Sam, we're out of here. Not a second to lose. Retreat, everybody. We're going back through the kitchen. Perfect time. I was looking for you. It's about your pets. All your pets have been tattooed, I presume? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> because that is the law. Any animal who has not been tattooed shall be considered wild, and as a consequence, sent to the local pal. <laughs> Perfect timing. Did you know that animals who have not been appropriately tattooed are totally forbidden from going out in the yard? Sorry, that's the law. After all, we cannot have just any old wild animal hanging out around here. Hey there, sweetie pies. Where are you? Quick, Sam, let's hide all this. Come on now, Wash. Be a good dog. Let go of Sam. 
We have to go see the vet to get your tattoos. Leave them alone, honey. They're stressed out. It's normal. Don't worry. The vet will know how to reassure them. Ah! Perhaps we should also ask the vet to give them a checkup. Lush, what are we going to do? We've got to stay like this, Sam. If the vet sees our tattoos, he's going to look at our costumes and then we'll be goners! go back to the supermarket in less than an hour, I can win 10 <laughs> new rolls of toilet paper. 10! <laughs> can you believe that, honey? I told you they were inseparable, Vladimir, but that shouldn't stop you from being able to tattoo their ears. Are you serious, Velma? I wouldn't know who I'm tattooing. Sam or Wash, Web or Sash. Well, in that case, why don't you separate them yourself? So, you were right. This has gone on long enough. Wash, what is he doing? He's giving up, Sam. He realized that it's impossible to separate us. Yeah! That's good, Java. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. <laughs> you, you, you found the laser? So, who's the best? Awesome! My eagle is flown away! No doubt about it. Some of the most beautiful tattoos I've ever done, right? <laughs> yep, we got tattoos now too. And check it out, our numbers are even way higher than yours. Huh, ridiculous. And thank you guys for the helping hand. You did a great job on this one. That's kind of you, Sam. But you better thank the alien. Thank you, you too, too, alien, alien friends. friends. Honey. The supermarket was hosting a contest on their website and I won oh. my weight in toilet paper! Can you help me carry it inside? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ta-da! Fresh clean outfits coming up! <laughs> Got it, got it, got Breathe in. Listen to your inner voice. My inner voice. Oh, hey! Oops, missed it. Sorry, Victoria. Spring kibble scent. Hmm. I say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life. Oh, yeah. 
So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? A little sweetie song. A little feast. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, poor little guy. He looks abandoned. Um. <laughs> Aww. Where did they go? Car. Uh oh, disguises. Hey, did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. <laughs> we found him on the street, abandoned. Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little kid. <laughs> We're going to get you a bowl of kibble. A huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo. Let me show you around your new home. <sighs> And there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? Peek-a-boo! Yeah. <laughs> that is so, so funny, funny Poppy! Poppy. <laughs> oh, seriously, I mean it! Check out his fangs! <laughs> wow! You're right, Clash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec. This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. One, two, three, four. They are my friends. My house. And it's gonna stay that way. Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog pound service. Bye-bye, kid. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. <laughs> Wash said that there was only room for one dog in the house. That's oh. why he wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No. I, I mean, yes. I, I can explain everything. Sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cool! So we can all play together again! Yippee! Yay! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy! <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Oh, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. <laughs> Hmm. Huh? Oh, just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! Hey! I don't believe it! Wash! Oh! 
all this noise! You again, Wash? Oh, poor Poppy. Come here. You won't get me this time, you little squirt. What's going on now, Wash? Uh? <laughs> and you're proud of that? You bad dog, you're punished. You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home. Thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah, but let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit, and you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something! Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually we are, but I can be ferocious too. After all, I'm a wild boy. A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak! You... you're not a real cat? <laughs> no, I'm a wild beast! And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild too! Grrr. Which means if you don't obey me, I can blow your cover? <laughs> That's even better! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Who does this miniature flea bag think he is? Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here! Right now! Uh-oh, he threw you out too? No, he didn't, Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? And uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Listen up! That is so cool! Uh, you here? How dare you come back into my house? It's time to reveal little Poppy's real face. Yuck! If the Living Stone saw this wild-looking creature... They'd chase it out of the house immediately. <laughs> Now we'll see who the wild beast is! <laughs> Give me back my bunny hat right now! Oh no! We're done for! Wait a minute, Shorty. I think it's time to have a little chat. You never fail to surprise me. I promise, next time, 
We'll listen to your inner voice. <sighs> it's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough! Huh? Hmm. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. What's up, Wash? Aren't you having breakfast with us? Oh, I didn't sleep a wink last night. Yeah? Hey! Whoa! Ever thought of packing on a beauty mask? Or at least a little facial scrub? Yeah! A mud mask will do miracles! Enough already! I think someone is spying on us. Oh, yeah? Why? I don't know. Maybe someone who knows we're not who we pretend to be and who's gonna blackmail us or worse, denounce us to the animal pound! Talk about paranoia. I always thought you watched too many spy films. A fox's nose is never, ever wrong. Honey, it's a done deal. The new neighbor has agreed. Super! That Granny Cupcake is such a sweetie. <sighs> and here we go again. What? Oh, no! It all makes sense now. You guys still don't get it. The Living Stones are undercover spies. They've just been contacted for a mission. Oh, no! Oh, that's ridiculous. They're only leaving for the weekend, and someone is going to look after us. It's just our new neighbor, Granny Cupcake. Oh, hello there, my little friends. I've heard so much about you. Boy, she looks shady. Oh, please. She's just a sweet old lady, and you've been watching too many movies, Wash. I brought you treats! Whoa. See you You're later, going guys. to be in excellent hands. No, don't leave! We're in danger! <laughs> You see, Wash? There was nothing to worry about. We've never been so spoiled. She even knitted us a hammock. I just love Granny Cupcake. I swear she's hiding something. Believe me. Let's go rummage through her stuff. <sighs> Listen, Wash. I've had it up to my whiskers. I'd rather take another nap than continue listening to you spouting garbage. <laughs> Uh, Granny Cupcake is trying to divide the ranks. That's so she can chew, Wash, and enjoy. Well, if that's how it is, I'm going to rummage through her stuff on my own. <clears throat> she has to be hiding something. <clears throat> Right. Now that everyone is awake, everybody get inside on the double! <laughs> hmm. I told you she was shady. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the only Lieutenant General authorized. 
Or, if you prefer, O-L-G-A, Olga. And don't pretend you don't know what I'm saying, because I know you know. <laughs> Excellent. So, I am a secret agent specialized in the art of disguise. Just see for yourself. Now, as you are going to see, I have been spying on you for quite some time. And I know everything! Oh, we're as good as back in the forest, guys! Mm -hmm. Under no circumstance do I want to send you back to the forest. What? She understands what we're saying? Yes, I do. I graduated summa cum laude in animal language, which makes it practical for recruiting you. Recruiting us? To do what? We have noticed your ability to pass yourselves off as pets and infiltrate this human household. You have shown great potential for becoming animal spies. Animal spies? Household pets make for awesome spies. Indeed. Who would ever suspect them? No one. Especially if they don't talk. Whoa! A whole new life awaits you, my future comrades! <laughs> and now, who would like some vitamin-powered kibble? Courtesy of the government. <laughs> You are going to need to be in tip-top shape before your mission begins. Can you believe it? We are secret agents! I've never eaten such delicious kibble. It's pretty cool living off the government, huh? Uh, what exactly is the government anyway? Agent Washington, what a surprise! Sweet dreams, buddy! Finally, I'll be able to put all of my talents to work. Physical and mental. This is the dream of a lifetime. Boy, we're going to have fun! Yeah, it's as if we were all going on vacation together! Oh, yeah! Well then, uh, what should I pack? Hmm, this one is bigger, but I prefer the color of this one. This one. This one, and... No, no, not that one. This one. But you don't even know how to read, Wash. Yeah, well, that never stopped me from appreciating great literature. Ah, I found Victoria in the laundry room. It's just awful. She is... She has to sleep. Cats are indeed fascinating creatures. I have never, ever seen anyone nap so soundly. Yep, <laughs> and she won't be waking up anytime soon. I gave her a tranquilizer that would knock out a blue whale. But that's, that's horrible. horrible! Victoria! Now just calm down and march back to the living room. Someone is going to be picking you up very soon. There can't be any witnesses. <laughs> We can't leave without saying goodbye to Victoria. Silence! You are going to have to learn to shut up and listen. What in the world is that mess in that suitcase? You are forbidden to have any of your old belongings in your new life. This is how you are going to be traveling. I'll send you to headquarters. There, you'll receive your equipment and be sent to your new assignments. <laughs> North Pole for Sam. But it's cold up there. The Amazon for Susie. But I'll get swallowed whole by a giant snake. Australia for Eugenie. But I'm allergic to kangaroos. And finally, England for Washington. Oh, no. It rains there all the time. I hate the rain. But this means that we're not leaving together. We're going to be separated. Uh, thank you, Olga, for having thought of us for such a prestigious job, but uh, it's just not our style. Hey there. Not so fast, little guy. 
If you don't want to go on your missions, I shall be obliged to reveal your true identity. <laughs> so what is it? Mission or animal pound? Oh no, not the pound! Well then, let's get a move on. <laughs> I am so happy to see that you are being reasonable. Listen, I've got a plan. We warn the mailman once we're in the van, okay? Great yeah, idea! Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This box is totally soundproof, thanks to soundproofing material that interestingly enough smells like cupcakes. <laughs> but I'm getting off topic. What you must remember is that no one will be able to hear you scream. <laughs> Things don't look so good, do they? Yep. We're trapped like a bunch of rats. What's that noise? Hey there, gang. Did you miss me? How did you do that, Vic? What about that whale tranquilizer? The old pill in the cat food trick? Ha! <laughs> what an amateur. I knew the old lady had a trick up her sleeve, so I pretended to be asleep in order to jump in at the right moment. Wow! Thanks a ton, Vic! Well, what? I just love cupcakes! <laughs> ha! The mailman! Hmm. <laughs> 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 cupcakes! Oh, just look at that! How cute they are! We'll be there in just a sec, darlings! <laughs> Frankly, Victoria, if there's one of us who deserves to be a spy, it's you. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hear that, darling? Sounds like the engine's wearing out. You think so? I hope we don't break down before we get to the vets. <laughs> Pointless, pathetic, incompetent. Get out and don't come back until you know how to heal animals, Vladimir. Get a grip on yourself and man up. You see that? Looks like the vet has been thrown out of his own clinic. Yay! New more annual checkups. What's happened, Doctor? <sighs> Velma's right. I'm incapable, pointless, useless, a dead weight in this world, a shame to my profession. Don't say that! I am, I am, I hate my job. I'd never have become a vet if my mom hadn't forced me to. My big dream was to become a Tibetan flutist. Everything will be fine, Vladimir. Go on home and take- But this is my home. I haven't anywhere else to go. Mommy! <laughs> We'll take care of you, you'll see. In a few days, you'll be raring to go again. Come and hang out with our lovable little fur balls for a while. I'm sure they'll put a smile back on your face. We gotta get out of here before that monster sees behind our disguise. We head back to the Living Stones once he's gone. Ready? One, two, three! Yeah. Look, they're so excited about showing you around the house, they jumped out before we poured. Okay, we're trapped. Keep your distance and make sure the vet does not see your zippers, okay? What kind of distance? I don't know. Two yards? Two and a half? Hmm? That's about 20, 25 sausages end to end, Sam. Or 250 sitting in a line. Let's go play with our darlings in the yard. You'll see. It'll cheer you up to no end. In you go, sweetie pies. Hide! Everybody run for cover! <laughs> uh, fluffy babies? I bet I scared them away. 
No, they're only playing hide and seek. Call for them, and they'll soon come running. Uh, uh Philadelphia! Not bad. He is named after a city, but not that one. The name's Washington. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paddington, uh, Pab, Lucy, uh, Zucchini. Uh, close. It's Washington, Sam, Susie, and Eugenie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Washington, Sam, Eugenie, Susie. It's a trap. Hey. Don't move! Oh. They probably didn't hear you. I haven't cleaned their ears out in over a month. Sweetie pies? Here they are. Look how pleased they are to see you. How about we all go play ball? They love playing ball. Uh. Don't move, okay? Go on, throw. You go first. <laughs> see, they don't want to play with me. It's obvious. You have to throw the ball further. Look, like this. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Can you hear me? <laughs> I want my mommy. How about we play that, huh? You like that, playing that? It's a game he's sure to win. It'll give his confidence a huge boost. Mr. Livingstone, you are a genius. Mm -hmm. I never want to hear anyone mention that job again. Never. I'm packing it in right this minute. <laughs> that means we never have to worry about him again, Wash. That's what he wants us to think. But it's a trap. Mm. A trap to get us closer to him. On your guard. <laughs> you can be proud of yourselves. Thanks to you, poor Vladimir has packed in his brilliant career as a vet. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I warn you, if you don't give him a big hug right this minute, you won't have any kibble. I'll give you five minutes. It's blackmail. Don't give in to it. That's how it all starts. First, zero kibble. Then, you gotta sleep outside. Finally, you wind up at the dog pound. Or worse, back in the forest. Hmm. Okay, Sam. Go give the vet a big hug. Why me? Because, uh, go on. I'll explain later. Okay. But don't forget this time, all right? Or else I'll get to thinking you're taking me for a ride. Hmm. TV is better with pictures, don't you think? Say, I'm going to show you my favorite program. Uh, uh, stop! Look! It's Imaton Tabakuk, the famous Tibetan flute player. Listen to that. What talent. What beauty. Absolutely. It's remarkable. Sublime. Soon it's time for my favorite... Shh! Uh, huh. Meow. Sam, give him a hug. Jump on his lap, quick. Or goodbye, kibble forever! Ah, a cat! Disgusting! It'll give me fleas! Get out of. Uh, oh, what soft fur! Oh, it feels like acrylic! Fake acrylic fur! See that, honey? Vladimir's got his smile back. So what? Hmm? Because of him, I can't even watch my favorite program. Come on, the main thing is he's perked up a little. And with Sam, he's sure to soon start feeling better and better. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'll make you another one. <laughs> What's gotten into you? That's our family photo album. Hello, there are people waiting out here, and you've been in there for hours. Okay, okay, it's all yours. Anyway, there's no more hot water left. <laughs> that Vladimir is really getting on my nerves. Come on, honey, we can't just throw him out. At least he's not sleeping in our bed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's gone too far. He has to go. It's time for him to go back to the clinic. You know he doesn't want to be a vet anymore. Well, I'm going to teach him the joy of curing sick animals. You'll see. What are you going to do? Our babies are in perfect health. <laughs> Girls, wake up. We have a situation. I was in the oven, and what I heard... What are you doing in the oven in the middle of the night? Well, 
after they've roasted chicken, I love licking the sides of the oven. Oh, boy. But hey, that's not the issue. I was in the oven and I heard the living stones plotting in the kitchen. They want to put something in our kibble to make us sick so that then the vet can make us better. Whatever you do, don't swallow a thing, okay? Sam, where are you going? I want something to eat. <sighs> Sleep makes you hungry. Sorry, Sam. Too long to explain. But from now on, you got to stop eating anything. What? Stop eating? <laughs> Sam! My little Sammy boy, answer me! Call the vet, quick! But you're the vet. I gave up that career, as you well know. And anyway, I threw away all my instruments. <laughs> I picked them out of the trash can. Any other questions? Hmm. How does this work again? You put it on the heart. Not on your uh -oh. heart, Sam's heart. And you put the other end in your ears. No, you've got to put those bits in your ears. It's pointless. I'll never manage. It's been so long since I gave up. It was only yesterday. That bed is pathetic. He's never gonna cure Sam. The only thing that can cure him is to eat. Susie, let me remind you that the Living Stones have doctored all the food to make us sick. Are you sure about that? As sure as two plus two makes six. Four. <laughs> two plus two makes four, you jelly brain. The Living Stones haven't poisoned anything. Not the kibble, not the canned food, nothing, nada, zilch. I think they have. Can you tell me why you're all covered in red spots, Vic? Huh? Can you? It's makeup, knucklehead. The Living Stones want to make the vet think that I'm sick so then he can cure me, build up his self-confidence, and clear on out. This means we can give Sam something to eat. We could put him in a cast. Mm -hmm. That could work. Why? He hasn't broken anything. We'll have more luck with a medical encyclopedia. Let's see now, where are we? Camel? Caribou? Ah, ha, here we are. I'm awake? You'll never believe it. I dreamt I was eating kibble. It was awesome. What a fascinating book, don't you think? If I'd known all this, I might have been a better vet. Meow, meow. Sam, I don't believe it. I cured him. I'm a genius of animal medicine. It's plain to see. How has the world managed without my talent for so long? I've made up my mind. I'm taking up my stethoscope again, and I'll base my clinic here. Here we'll put the waiting room, and here my treating room. It's gonna be cutting edge, high tech, state of the art. What do you think? Well, how about you head back to your clinic instead? Oh. <laughs> Velma, it's me. I'm going back to work. Medicine needs me. Vladimir cured our cat without so much as touching him. It was phenomenal, exceptional. You must take him back. Mm -hmm. I know you'd get your old touch back, Vladimir. Welcome home. Incidentally, I believe you have an appointment for your adorable little animals. Oh, really? No, 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 just a routine checkup. Thank you, goodbye. <gasps> I think I've had enough of vets for one day. <laughs> that was close. Boy, am I ever happy he's out of the house. I got to kind of like him. No, I can't wait for the next appointment. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Guys, want to play with the flying disc? Fresh air would do you a world of good. You've been sitting in front of the TV for hours. And lush? Yeah. Aw, oh, Sam, I knew I could count on you, dude. Can you move over a little? You're blocking the screen. <laughs> I bet there's a way I can play with the flying disc by myself. You just have to be sly. Like a fox, in fact. 
I can't play by myself, can I? Come on, guys! Sports are essential for your health! A dog's need for exercise varies from one race to another. For example, certain hunting dogs are true sprinters, just like foxes. Because, of course, these two animals are members of the same family, the canine family. Although our domestic dogs... No Did you hear that? Wild, I'm a cousin to dogs! Animal. That explains why I need to go outside and run all the time! In fact, our family is quite athletic. Speaking of outside, how about going there right now? I still haven't completed my 14-hour sleep cycle. Hmm? <laughs> okay, I get it. If that's the way it is, I'm going outside to play by myself. <gasps> Good idea! We can watch TV and pee! <laughs> you guys deserve each other, the bunch of you. I'm beginning to think that my dog cousins are the only ones who truly understand me. Excellent! Go on outside and play with your cousin! All right then! Fine! I am going outside to play with my cousin! Who's he going to play with? His cousin! <laughs> hey! Hi there, Alvarez! How you doing? It's been such a long time since we've seen each other. You're sure looking good today. Are you making fun of me? Not in the least. I just wanted to spend some time with you because I just realized that we've got loads of things in common. Right, cousin? We may be cousins, but my tongue doesn't hang out like yours. Hey, uh, how about we play a game of flying disc together? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I've had more than my share of exercise this morning. Oh, I see. A little later, maybe? But anyway, is there anything you need? You know, you can ask me for anything you like. Anything? I can ask you for anything? <laughs> Between dogs and fox... Uh, uh, I mean, dog and dog, you know. Like, do a cartwheel? Yeah, cartwheel. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Anything else? And what about a worm? I hop on your tail. Okay, Wash, you and I are going to spend a little time together. Wash? Yoo-hoo! Where are you? In fact, we want to play with the flying disc with you after all. So, after this, cousin, how about we play that game of flying disc? Shush! Massage is about relaxation. Ah, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. I'm often told that I talk too much. That's something I don't actually notice, you know, given that I never stop talking. <laughs> Wash is giving Alvarez a massage. He calls him cousin. He looks really happy just being with him. All this is because we didn't want to play with the flying desk. Why is Wash calling Alvarez cousin? I'd be extremely worried if I were you. Alvarez is a manipulator, and he's going to take advantage of Washington's generosity. This is going to go very wrong in the end. Ah, it's a catastrophe! Wash is abandoning us! <laughs> what do we do, Sam? What do we do? Uh, we ask Wash. He's the one who thinks of plans. Channels. No, we take a nap. You'll do everything you can to get Wash out of Alvarez's clutches. Yeah, that's it. Exactly what I wanted to say. So now I'll leave you to it. Uh, I have several naps to catch up on. Wash, there you are. <laughs> Cousin Alvy needed to go indoors to cool off, so I suggested he come here to the house. Afterwards, we're going to play with the flying disc, right, cuz? And so, you guys are all done with your TV marathon? Yeah, and we wanted to get you out of Alvarez's clutch. Uh, to get outside and play with the flying disc. Yuck. 
Don't tell me you actually eat this revolting discount kibble. Ugh. Well, what? He's an aristocratic dog. He's used to luxury. <laughs> Yeah, too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Not bad. Oh, it's rather hot in here, isn't it? Could you give me some air? <laughs> Faster. Not so fast. <laughs> To talk. I haven't got time. Cousin Alvarez is waiting outside to play flying disc with me. You've got to get rid of him. He's just using you. No, he's not. Alvarez is really sweet. That's just because you don't know him very well. And anyway, he's my cousin. Family is special. But we're your family. Ta! You guys, you're my friends. But he's family. And he's always willing to play flying disc with me. Wash! I haven't got all afternoon for this game. Aha! <laughs> See? Just like I told you, he's a magnificent flying disc player. He's hopeless. Even Sam plays better. Affirmative! <laughs> Wash! I'm coming, Alvy! <laughs> Looks like Alvarez has made a real lapdog out of you. Pooey, you're just jealous. Yeah. <laughs> we just wanted you to realize that we're the ones who are your real friends. Alvarez is my cousin. I know I can trust him. And I'm going to prove that by telling him I'm actually a fox. Wait and see. He'll accept me for what I am. What do we do? Yeah. Okay. No TV. No naps. Give me a couple of seconds. I'm thinking. You stop Wash from revealing his secret to Alvarez. Exactly. Hi, Bonnie. Alvarez, uh, there's something I have to tell you. The truth is, I'm actually, uh... Go fetch! Oh. Alvarez! Alvarez! What I was trying to tell you... Look! <laughs> we'll just see who has the last word on this! What? You okay, Wash? How about watching a movie? Yeah, why not? You guys were right about Alvarez. Yeah! Oh, finally, you get it! Wash, I really need a massage. Oh, no! It's Alvarez! What am I gonna tell him? Hey, how about we hide? That way, if he doesn't find us, he'll just leave. Yeah! Let's hurry! He's almost here! <laughs> Woohoo! Wash! Aha! Here you are, Alvarez! Great timing! I was waiting for you! Oh no! He tricked us! Now he's going to tell Alvarez everything! And we'll have to return to the forest again to the cold and the rain! Goodbye, <laughs> TV! <laughs> so listen. I'm actually, uh... <laughs> well, what? This could be our last chance to listen to TV. It's true that dogs and foxes are very close species. One can see this in their similar physical traits. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Foxes have nothing to do with dogs. We are far, far more advanced than those inferior wild animals. What? What do you mean, inferior? A fox's vision and sense of smell is far more developed than that of a dog. Excuse me? Huh? Zero hygiene, zero poise, zero class. Foxes are the very last species on the planet I deign to frequent. I'd rather befriend a pigeon. At least they know how to hold their heads up when they walk. What? So, what was it you wanted to tell me? What I wanted to say was... Go fetch, Doggy Woggy! <laughs> Who wants 
chance to play with a flying disc. I could think of an activity that everyone here would like. Uh, uh, oh. 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 